Hey guys, today is one of my clinical exams again. I just got here and I'm changing into my white coat. Hey guys, so I just got home. The clinical exam went well. I had two of my faculty as my proctors and they gave me really good feedback. So I'm glad that I got them and I'm glad that the whole experience went well. I think the next time I go back there is at the end of the semester when we have to do our OSCEs. I am going to go and run on the treadmill for a little bit because I feel super sluggish and I just hope that a little bit of exercise can get me going and then I'll be ready to sit down and study again for my geriatrics exam on Thursday. Good afternoon guys, today is the 22nd. Yes, we're getting certified today. So I'm going to do the ACLS BLS training. We already did half of the course online and then today is actually going in doing the actual codes on the dummies and stuff so it's going to be very fast paced I believe my friend said that it's intense so hopefully everything goes okay I was studying this morning for farm because our farm exam is next week and then tomorrow we have a geriatrics exam and, and then I started studying for that a little bit but then I had to review the diagrams for ACLS and BLS. So it's exciting because things are really picking up like I said clinical year is coming around soon um, and I think the expectations from the faculty and everyone else is just a lot higher now because we are so close to being able to see um, patients on our own and they want to make sure that we are as prepared as we can be. I definitely want to do a video about like how I'm preparing for clinical year but I don't even know what I'm doing so if you guys have any specific questions I can try to answer them just leave them in the comments down below. Good morning guys I forgot to update you on ACLS yesterday but it was a very humbling experience i felt like there was just like we knew the information but putting it all together and applying it all together was very difficult for me so naturally i was very stressed out and um the guy could tell like the guy who was doing my evaluation he could tell that i was really stressed out so he ended up giving me a hug which was very nice of him but then because I was so stressed this morning, me and Ada went to the gym because I just needed to work that out somehow. So we got here at eight, went to work out, and now it's 10. And now we're gonna go study before our geriatrics exam. Here are time. Say hi. Hi. Come in here. Can you do that? No, this is my vlog. Hi. 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 Oh. Okay, here I'm gonna ask you a question. Um, what's a piece of advice that you would give to the viewers for PA school? <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to say. Okay, um, I'm asking. What is it? Take breaks. Okay. I'm asking all my friends, what's one piece of advice you would give to someone who wants to go to PA school? You work hard and you play hard. You study at the beach. That's what we were doing before, but then we gave up. Yeah. Ada, you want to be in it? What's one piece of advice you would give to someone who wants to go to PA school? Um, at the third semester PA student. Your third? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you? Uh, what they always tell us about um, make time for yourself. You don't need to study as much as you think you do. No, you do. You need to study, but like... <laughs> Okay, let's say bye. Serena! Serena! <laughs> say bye. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad! Anyways, you're getting CPR <laughs> with one hand. Wake up! Wake up. Wake up. Oh, it's not lying, no call. Look how much you learned. She's a genius, guys. Hey guys, so as you know, I went to the beach yesterday with Ada, Serena, and my friend Jenny. But then 
I guess I did not put enough sunscreen on because I got a sunburn on my back. You can see it kind of right there and it's more so on the sides. Right now it's extremely painful to wear anything. Um, so this is why I'm wearing like a really loose shirt but I've been using this gel called Sunburned and it has more than just aloe in it. It's like calendula. I'm not gonna say this correctly. Echinacea and cantharis plus aloe. So there's other stuff in here that is supposed to make it feel better. Um, it comes out like this clear gel and I think it's a pretty good product. Um, I think it's better than just the like green aloe gel that you get at the local pharmacy. Good morning guys. It's currently 7.50. I don't know if the gym is open yet. I think the guy just got there. So the gym opens at 8. And Ada and I are gonna go to the gym before our class starts and our class starts at 9 today. We kind of just wanted to get a quick session in. I think today I'm gonna plan to do cardio just because I do have the tan on my back. So putting like the bar on my back I don't think would be a good idea. And then also I might do some assisted pull-ups because I've been trying to build my upper body strength and I think it helped a little. Like I could feel my muscles being worked. We'll see how my gym session goes. All right guys, I just got home. I literally just put my book bag down on the floor and um, all my friends are texting me saying that the places for our rotations and our clinicals are out. We are checking together. They told us that we were getting our rotation sites at the end of July. So I was expecting another month of mystery before we actually got our sites. But I guess things happened earlier than they um, expected. So I won't be telling you exactly where I'm going just for privacy sake. I think I'm gonna tell you my elective and then also just if they're mostly in the city or if they're mostly in Long Island. I honestly don't even remember what I ranked them as, but I remember I put it in a vlog before. So if you are curious how correlated they are, like what I ranked and what I'm actually getting, I will link that video. I think I'll put it like in the corner of here so that you can go watch that if you're interested. All right, so here we go. I honestly don't even remember how to use this site and it's kind of scary. Like my friend was saying that this feels like we are waiting for concert tickets. Oh my gosh, I can see it in my peripheral vision and I just don't want to look. OMG, OMG, oh, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. I got my infectious disease as my elective. I don't remember what I ranked it, but I had heard that it was very rare to get this one. And so I just put it because I was very interested in it, but I didn't think that I would actually get it. That's crazy. I have a couple in the city, but then I also have a lot in Long Island. And then I have one that is in Staten Island. So that I will definitely have to figure out um, my living situation just because that is very far and I don't know if I'll be able to travel the entire way for just those six weeks. All right, guys, I'm gonna go shower and get back to studying for farm because our test is on Friday. Hi, everyone. Today was such a long day. Literally, I was in class from eight until 4.30 for our last lecture. I thought that the professor would give us a break because um, it was two hours straight and he didn't and my brain hurts now. I have to study for farm later, but I kind of wanted to do a haul because I bought stuff from ThreadUp. If you guys never have heard of ThreadUp before, this is also not sponsored or anything at all. So. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys because I like to thrift, but most of the thrift stores are in the city or far, far out east. And I just don't have the time to go out there and sort through the 700 racks of clothing. So I have recently went on to ThreadUp 
and I found things that kind of were things that I've been always looking for and some of them were at a discounted price because obviously these are pre-owned. I don't have anything against pre-owned clothing. I'll just try to make sure that they're at the best of shape and then also when i get them i'll just throw them into the wash right away so when you first open it it kind of looks like this and then it says like how much you save the earth and then it comes like all wrapped up it's really really cute the first thing that i got is a patagonia's uh quarter zip and then the second thing that i got is from gym shark i have one of their long sleeves already but i got a second one but this is a cropped version and i know that gymshark literally looks so small when you first get it but these things do stretch this is the crop top i got and it's like a darker gray compared to my other one and this also looks like it's in really great shape the last thing that i got is a shirt from nike it's another quarter zip um, it kind of looks like this. All right, I'm going to go shower, eat dinner, and study for farm. But tomorrow we're learning how to do like knot tying for suturing. So in July, we're doing a lot of procedure things. So suturing, chest tubes, uh, central lines, all of that we're learning this month, which is really exciting because like I said, I'm a very hands-on learner. So I think it's good for me. Good morning, guys. Today is the 30th of June, so we have about a month and a week left of didactic year. And then we are being shipped off to clinicals. If I'm being really honest, my energy levels um, started out here when I first started didactic year. And now they're all the way at the bottom. Like, I can still wake up in the morning, but the motivation to just go throughout the day and also study when i get home it is just gone i'm hoping that by going to the gym i can get some of those endorphins running and hopefully i will have the motivation to study later because i have a farm exam tomorrow but today is really exciting it's a really short day we have a knot tying session so we're learning how to suture tie they uploaded a video yesterday onto blackboard for us to just review over it and try to learn it ahead of time so that it's more efficient when we're in the class where we're just getting peer review and also review from the teacher on how we're doing it. It was actually really fun. They gave out these like lanyard things and we learned it two ways. So one way is using both hands and then the second way is using just one hand. But I was trying it out yesterday and it was really, really fun. But that could just be because I really like to use my hands when I'm learning things. All right, I think it's time to go to the gym now. They just opened. I hope it is empty because I love an empty gym. All right, I'll see you guys later. Empty, but only the upstairs so can i go down later now i'm going to go pick up lunch at chipotle and then i have a doctor's appointment i got my chipotle um i got a burrito i just got to my doctor's office there was so much traffic it usually takes about 20 minutes to get here and it took me almost 40 i was in traffic for almost 20 minutes i'm hungry and i don't know if i should eat just because whenever i come here she always does blood work but i'm literally starving and i'm afraid that if they take my blood that i'm gonna like faint because i didn't eat since 6 30 this morning i worked out too i usually get the bowl but i was craving a burrito today so i got a burrito with brown rice fajitas pinto beans chicken mild tomato mild corn sour cream and lettuce i usually also get avocado or guacamole but um i feel like that was just a little too heavy for today so i think i'm just gonna take a couple bites because i don't want to go in there and be like lightheaded and all that but look at the burrito it looks humongous but i'm so hungry I hope there's no traffic going home because I'm going to be so sad. 